Welcome back to the vlog. Come try some snacks with us. It's kind of weird because once in a while one lands on the other one, but they're mostly just on this one. I guess they could probably get at it a lot better. This is kind of funny. Zuma's already going. He's already going gray. He's got gray hairs on his back. He's got a couple of white tufts like up underneath here. But those ones are new. I also discovered he's basically afraid of fetch. Because I was thinking, like, oh, he knows he isn't going to be able to catch Night Night. So he's like, I'm just not going to try. So, like, I threw a couple times. Like, there's one time he was kind of off in the distance. So I tossed it. And, uh, it was like that hippo. I don't know if that's been on the vlog. It's like a hippo that used to make sound until they chewed it up, but it's like super soft. So I tossed it, it was like two feet from Zuma and he bolted from it and then like cowered. And then like I did the same thing, but like with him like two feet away. So like I barely even like underhanded it, like just basically dropped it on the ground. And he did the same thing. People baffle me. So there's this person at an intersection and there's a bike coming riding in the driving lane, which, you know, there's so many people that think their bikes are cars. Um, but they're probably a hundred yards away, you know, pedaling top, like as hard as possible, probably doing 25 if they're lucky. This woman sits there and waits for uh, them to go by on their bike. Then right after the bike goes by, there's a car maybe like 50 yards away going 35 the speed limit she pulls out in front of him that car had to dodge her and then she like immediately like starts going like eight under the speed limit it's like what on earth is wrong with people because it's, it's a detour but yeah it's it's absolutely baffling like what like you, you like because first off the bike is going slow enough you're not gonna end up out in front of them and even if they were, at least, like, you know, it ain't, it probably ain't going to be that big of a deal. They'll, like, slam on their brakes, maybe slightly dent your car with their bike. Like, probably nothing at all, really. But then, like, the car, you could have two cars totaled. And if you got far enough out where they hit your door, you could get hurt really bad. And it's just, like, yeah, I don't even know. And now we're behind more people going well under the speed limit. I don't know what is with people in doing this. It's like it's like they know the person behind them is like, oh, that person's running a little behind. Okay, let's uh, basically stop where this, at this spot where the speed limit's 35. Okay, weird thing we found at the gas station. Matt found at the gas station. Oh, yeah. It's just low sodium. And it's made in America. I was going to say sniff it. It just smells like popcorn. Does it? Yeah. Maybe slightly. Sour. I was gonna say it smells super sour patch kidsy to me, or not super, but like 50 50. Look down in there and try to find one that definitely like has a pretty decent. Because there, it's like. Nathan, shush. But it's like incredibly inconsistent because it's kind of like with the. Uh, that's. Yeah, that's fairly good. Because this is another thing. Ooh! Oh! What? That's good. Mm -hmm. You're a dork. That tastes like I put a sour patch kit and a piece of popcorn in my mouth at the same time. Well, yeah, I think that's the goal. Because, see, there's this that one time we got it one time. It's kind of stupid because it's like $7. And I'm like, we're not paying that for something that stupid, especially because we could technically make it ourselves. And I was like, then one day it was like on sale for like five. And I'm like, that ain't that bad. So I bought it. And then Megan wasn't home. And I'm the resistest person in the world. So like once I started, it was just, it was gone. So I got it again for her to try. And it's like, it's the same with that. Like some of them are like, you can't even tell it's a piece of popcorn. It looks like a blob of chocolate and peanut butter. And then some like have like one dot. And th that's kind of the way those are. I ate like two or three little, I don't probably like. I was grabbing two or three pieces at a time. If I put turned it into handfuls, it was probably like two handfuls. But it was like there were some pieces where it's like, hmm, that's basically a piece of candy. And then somewhere it's like, that's basically just a piece of popcorn. You're good. It is actually surprisingly good. I thought it was going to be really weird. And on a food-related note, I found something that almost competes with Reese's Cups. Did you eat a bunch of those today? Maybe. Clearly. He did! He did! He did. It's right, right with Reese's Cups now for like one of my favorite things in the world. Food wise. So then my favorite thing that you bought me because you're such a great husband. 
You can get the regular the, stuff. Those are very good too. You can get these anywhere. You can get the big bags at Costco. You can probably get them. They probably have them at Three Bears if we paid attention. Mm. We gotta find a place to be able to get that butter toffee cashews or mm -hmm. not there. You need to take this popcorn away from me. Nah. We might as well finish it now. So we're gonna give Nathan a little bit. Solid. That has a similar effect to the bottom. Like when you get to the bottom of like pretzels, you dump and there's so much salt, you're like, oh God. It was like that was sour and sticky. Or just like probably a, like two whole Sour Patch Kids, but in little tiny chunks. That's some real fresh deer crap. Really close to our house. Okay, for those of you that don't believe I can jinx anything, been like, oh yeah, like they're almost done with the guardrail project. They did finish the bridge overhead project. So like that, where they took months and months and months to build the crossovers. Like that's the only thing that's still going to be going on. But no, today there's like a spot where I it have I'm it has something to do with the ground because you can tell they'd repaved that spot. So I'm assuming it washed out at some point where they'd left three wooden posts in the guardrail. They have like four miles of cones put up to fix to go back and do that one spot and i ended up buying a semi i mean that wasn't going uphill but that's going downhill but still they must have been terrified of the grade because they were going like 40 and then like when they finally did start to build up some speed some idiot in an f-150 decided to stay going 40 while the semi pulled away doing probably 60 but yeah it's like i'm like oh yeah construction's almost over and then for some reason they like to do something less than the length of my car, they put up like legitimately like three and a half or four miles worth of traffic control. Like, and the thing is too, is like part of it is, is they still have the part where they were doing the like concrete walls and the guardrails on the bridge. That was done. So it isn't like they could be like, oh, they're still working on that. Might as well just leave the gap, the part in the middle uh, controlled too. No, no, that part's done. So literally, like, it was for something like maybe 10, like 8, 10 feet long at tops, they had miles of highway traffic control. Well, I discovered why they cleaned our lot. They were retarring cracks. It's kind of funny how they just trail off in spots. It's kind of intriguing. I'd be, oh, and it looks like, yeah, they repainted a bunch these curbs too. Not the parking blocks, but or I guess those are just parking blocks but they're kind of being used as a curb. It'd be kind of funny to like sneak riding in it. To where like if you're like on the roof you could see what it said. It's extra fun now because one of their crossovers that they spent months doing has a pothole in it. The other day it was about the size of a football. Now it's like if you lined up like three footballs end to end with another row next to them. So about two by three footballs. And it's getting deeper. And it's getting to the point where you can't avoid it. So yeah, fun. You know, you'd think that wouldn't happen with the months and months of time it took to do them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.